hey designers welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to put a balloon garland on a circle arch kit in today's video i would like to thank rc and z balloon kit for sponsoring this video along with the next few ones that will be on my channel if you're interested in purchasing the kits all the supplies and the link will be in the description box along with the comment um, i'll pin my comment with the details on how to purchase this kit for your next event the quality of the balloons was pretty impressive for the price i must say i actually really genuinely loved working with these balloons there's just something about when you use cheap balloons versus high quality it makes the difference and it makes the experience as an artist a lot easier however i did not like the smell that was caused from the kit i don't know why but it was a stinker so that's the only biggest con i had it was did not smell good As mentioned in my previous videos I told you guys I would show you how to do various techniques when creating balloon garlands so in this particular video I'm clustering the colors together to create a color block balloon garland and what a color block balloon garland is is that you use clusters of like six or eight um, in one cluster and then you use those two clusters and you put them together to create like a color block so it's just about of twisting the balloons around you can't be scared remember this if you're doing balloons you cannot be scared you can make them bigger obviously i this is all i had so and like i said before the neck was pretty awesome however i couldn't tie them together which is what i wanted to do but in the end it was very very high quality for the price i was very impressed by it I get so many DMs and so many comments here on YouTube about how I go about knowing how much air to fill. I had mentioned this in the previous videos that if your balloon starts to create a cone shape, that's usually the max amount you have before it pops. The reason why I release air is because when the balloons are overfilled, especially if you're doing an outdoor event in the heat, I know most of the country right now or the world is going through winter but this is a good technique to think about when the summer or springtime does come about and if we're still in a pandemic you want to release that air because the air inside the balloons tend to expand and heat obviously when heat occurs the air molecules expand and get bigger this is why balloons pop outside so i just wanted to mention that real quick creating colors um color blocks is actually really makes a balloon look a lot fuller and i like the organization of how the balloons come out when it's kind of like all the colors are together versus sporadic but anyways i decided to use the string from the kit however it wasn't the strongest and you'll find out as you're watching this video that i end up doing it another way of how you can utilize the circle arch but all you have to do is put the two clusters together make sure you're pushing down and then you're bringing that string up around the top cluster around the second the bottom one and then just kind of like loop it and pull it tight and it comes out looking like a color block Oops. 
I think with the balloon kits, the string that they use, um, it's not the strongest. So I recommend going to Party City or Amazon and getting balloon string to utilize this. However, as you can see, I'm getting kind of frustrated because it's not coming out how I want it. And I ended up trying like, well, let me see if I can just tie it on the arch. And if you keep watching, you'll see I give up and just do it a totally different way. Is there anybody who's scared of these little ladders because i feel like i'm always scared every time i go out there um anyways so as you guys can see i'm trying to manipulate and maneuver this is the hardest part of building any type of balloon sculpture um you have to really spend a lot of time and patience with this so i gave up and i ended up twisting the balloons onto the actual frame and i actually liked the way it came out a lot better because I was able to control how wide and it just looked better. I don't know, I can't describe it. It just looked better. So in my previous video with the balloon column, I told you guys to create a quad, which is just four balloons and you kind of push it in between the pole and then you twist them. It's the same technique with the balloon arch, the circle kit. Now I'm going to link the circle arch in the description box below however please note you need sandbags there was no wind barely any wind and this thing was moving as you can see as soon as i touch it it lifts up so you would i would advise to put sandbags right at the bottom where my feet are so that way it holds it down or even taking string and kind of like tying it down into the dirt or grass if you're able to do that as well but other than that i really genuinely like this um, it's not the best highest quality, but it was something that is really good to start with if you want to take your balloon garlands to the next level. So you can see how very light it is. I'm able to like lift it without really putting much effort, especially on the bottom. Now, normally I do create um, five inch clusters that I use with a 260 balloon. However, I wanted the balloon garland to look a lot fuller than it was. And this is a great way to add on clusters um, using a 260 balloon. It's the easiest way to add a lot of balloons all at once and just tying it on there and wrapping it around the each of the garlands that you wanted. So, spend time here guys because this is the hardest part like blowing the balloons is not hard it's this portion you have to really make it look organic but there's an art to it so take your time practice this is my first time doing this so i always like to practice on youtube just to show you guys and share my experience so that way you guys are not making the same mistakes and you're able to learn from mine and that way when you have an event you're good to go So now I'm actually creating the five inch clusters using 260 balloons. Now I would advise to use lighter 260 balloons with lighter balloons. Obviously I did, I literally ran out. So I had to use the glue dots as you saw in the beginning of this video, but I would just advise to use them, use kind of like if you're going light, use lighter colors. Cause I did see the 260 balloons, but it wasn't that big of a deal. I try to hide as much as you can. It really doesn't, you don't have to get orange with orange and pink with pink. You can use white with all of the colors that are on here. It won't really show, but the darker the 260 balloon, the more you have to be strategic on how you hide. Um, so that way people aren't able to see that 260 balloon in your garland. Mm -hmm. 
these were my favorite balloons i guess this was like a chrome gold and it was really really lovely and like it was just such high quality i actually enjoyed it so I ended up sticking them with the glue dots that came with the kit just right onto the balloon garland You need to be walking. Six months old. <laughs> Are you trying to zoom in on him? Yep, he's the one trying to ruin my video. I would That's never. right. That's right. If you stay until the end, you get to see my little peanut as he makes his first appearance officially on my YouTube channel. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end. The glue dots were either really, really strong or the latex on the balloon was really, really thin. So, but other than that, the kit was awesome. I really enjoyed working with this. I didn't use the um, confetti balloons that they do offer with this kit. I just liked it the way it was and I thought it came out really awesome. It was a great experience. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to watch to the end. See my little peanut. Oh, I thought I stepped on your foot. Put your way over there. 